Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you here. It's a beautiful day here, but I do have a lot of things to do inside the house. I have a few quick projects I wanna get done. I have a DIY project as well that I wanna do. I thought I would show you. I'm in my dining room and I have to clean this up. This has become the catch-all room here and I'm over it, so I have to clean this up. I haven't even cleaned off the table from Mother's Day. It's just a dumping ground right now, so that needs, needs to get done. And then I'll tidy it up and maybe add in a few things for my summertime decor. So I hope you like these type of videos and if you're ready to get started, let's get going on all the projects and just a general tidy up. Here's a quick peek at the state of my dining room table. It has become a catch-all for everything. So I wanna get in here and put everything away and clear it all off so I have a clean slate to decorate for the summertime. And over here on the buffet, it is the same situation. It's just time to pick everything up and put it back in its rightful place. I think the first thing I'm going to do is, I showed in my living room summer decorate last week, um, these really pretty prints I had downloaded from Etsy and had printed at Costco. I just ordered some um, frames from Michaels. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is put these in here, see how they look and hang them up in the living room. And if you missed that video, I'll be sure to leave a link to it so you can go check out how I did my living room for the summer. But I think that's the first thing I'm going to tackle in here. So I'm not going to lie, these frames were pretty cheap. I was quite disappointed in, in them and when I got the pictures together, it just wasn't anything that I was hoping they would look like. So later on in the video, I do change them up, but yeah, these, this was a big disappointment. And just to show you what I'm talking about, here they are on the wall. They're just too small and I wasn't happy with the end result, so it will change. So the other project I want to do is the, I will show you in a second, is the, um, is my little, my little stool in my front hall. I want to change it up and I was inspired by some things I saw on the Target website. So what I got was some material from Amazon and it is actually like a faux leather. So that's what I'm going to uh, change the top to. And then I got, <laughs> the funny thing was, I got a can of uh, spray paint. I didn't want it completely black, black. I wanted it kind of a grayish black. So I got this one that's called um, Iron Canyon. So I think that'll look nice for the legs. I did get this other one, but it's not the right color. It's sparkly and things. I don't want that. So that one has to go back. But this is what I'm using for the, um, for the stool. So that's another little project. So I'm just gonna move these out for now because they don't need to be in here. So here's the stool that I was talking about with the white fur and the gold legs. I'm kind of over this look now, so I thought I would change it up, maybe give it more of a little bit of a modern twist, but that's what I'm going to be changing for this material here, the faux leather on top with some kind of black uh, iron looking legs. So I think that's gonna look really nice.
So here's the stool that I'm going to be working on uh, from the front hall. And I am glad I have decided to do this because now that I take a good look at the legs on this, they're really starting to fade and tarnish. So I think it's a good time to just give it a fresh freshening up. So the first thing I'm going to do is just remove the cushion and then I'm going to wipe down and I might even sand the legs, the base a bit, um, just to make sure that the paint adheres properly and I can work on the cushion now. So um, let me show you the material that I will be using for the top. So here is the uh, fabric, well, the, yeah, the fabric that I got from Amazon. It was off Amazon and I will try to leave a link to it below if you're, if you're interested. This is the underneath part, it's like a suede. So what the stool is, what the stool is actually going to look like is this this side and I will bring it closer for you. So it will actually look more like this. You can see the difference there between the two, the underside and then this part. So it's like a faux leather look and I think that's going to look so nice on this with the legs in a black kind of um, dark, dark, dark gray color, but I'm excited to get going on this. So the first thing that I need to do is to take the cushion off of the frame and that is simply unscrewing these four screws on the back of it. And then I'll rip off the white material and I am going to throw out the white batting that is underneath it. I'm not going to be using it again with the faux leather material because I want a sleeker look. And this stool doesn't actually get much um, use anyways. It's just in the hallway in case somebody needs to quickly sit to put their shoes on. Then I will lay the material out on the ground, measure around it and cut it out and that way I can ensure that I have enough material to cover this board. Okay, so what was cool about this fabric, I just took an iron on very low to the back of this to try and see if I could get out the creases and most of them came out. So that's very, very cool. It's like a felt backing. So an iron on low helped get rid of most of the creases. I am no expert at these projects, but I have watched enough YouTube videos to kind of figure out how to do it. And what they suggest is, you know, stapling on each side opposite to one another before you staple all the way around it. This way you get it nice and tight. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I lost the footage of the corners I did have to watch a couple of videos to figure it out because it was giving me trouble. And in the end, I think I got it. Then I screwed it back onto the frame and when I took it back upstairs, I put these little felt feet on the bottom so it wouldn't scratch the wood floor. It's been a couple days since I did my decorating for the uh, with the dining room and the entryway table. And there are some things I'm really not happy with and one of them is these pictures here. They really aren't working for me. I've lived with them for a couple of days and I'm really disappointed because I love the prints, but they just don't work here. The frame is too small. So I'm going to take them down and put them somewhere else. I'm going to put back up something that I've had here before and I'll just continue to look for frames for these prints. I think what they need, well, they definitely need a bigger frame, a more substantial frame and maybe like it's something with a nice mat around it. I'd like to look for something wood toned, you know, a little bit distressed, chippy looking, um, something that'll complement it more than the frames that are currently up there. They just are not working. So I'm gonna make those changes now. I think that looks much better. I, it fills up the space much, much better. It's not exactly what I want here, but for now, it fills up the space much better than those other prints did. And this is something that I made, oh, a while ago. Um, 
So I like it, it fills it up. So for now, until I can get exactly what I want up here, this will work. But of course, once you do one thing, it cascades throughout the rest of the home. So that's what I'm working on now. It has started an avalanche of changing things up. So next I'm gonna move into my hall table and uh, make those changes. So next I'm gonna work on my hall table and I'm going to take out the basket and the pink flowers. I don't know, it just isn't working for me. So I wanna take that out. I'm gonna use it somewhere else, move things over, maybe put this pillow under there. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna play around with it right now. After working on the hall table, next was this little side table in my dining room. Again, this second shelf was just not, I wasn't feeling it, so I thought, well, let's try a few different other things, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going to keep playing around till I find something that I like. And now I'm going to work on my tiered tray on the dining room table and just make some changes there because I did take some stuff off of this and use them in other places. And here's how the front hall has turned out with the new stool that I recovered. I did the DIY on it. I love it. I also changed the uh, wall art that is above it. I kept the same pillow, but I love, love, love the way this turned out. I eventually do want to change the wall art. I am not sure what I want there, but for now, I love the way this looks, um, the simplicity of it, and it really ties in nicely with the rest of the house now. So now we'll move on to my dining room, and I am really happy and excited with the way that turned out. So here's a look at the table now that I have refreshed the bottom shelf and I think this looks much better. I love all the white vases. These are all DIYs that I did with that baking soda paint technique and I love them and I just love the way that they're grouped on this and then the basket in here adds a little bit of texture that I felt was missing in this space. I kept the top shelf exactly the same with this one vase that I love with my wood beads and the same florals in it because it really ties in nicely with the print above it. And there's a look at the print that is above it. I love it. It is actually from my in-laws house and it really, really suits this room and all the other furniture in here. And now over to the buffet. This I just kept very, very simple. I just kept the lamps on there and added this beautiful bowl here. I've had that for years and that is from HomeSense as well. But I just kept it very, very simple. I love the colors. I think it all goes together, especially with that mirror that is above that is from my in-laws as well and the lamps are just lamps that my son had in his room and i brought them down to see if i liked lamps in here Let's see if it'll focus and i love the look of the lamps i'm not crazy about these ones in here but eventually i will look for some new ones whenever i can but yeah very very simple i love it and now onto the table again I kept it very, very simple with my linen runner that I got last summer on an amazing sale. And I think it was from a local store to me, um, the linen chest. And I just love it. It's very, very neutral, which I love. 
And then I just put my tiered tray here and just added some little items from around the house. So on the top, I have this vase with the greenery in it. It's actually a wedding gift from my brother and his wife on our wedding anniversary. So that is 34 years old. The black star I got at a local store here called the Barnyard Cat. I love that little store and the sheep here is also from there. The birdhouse is just a thrift find that I found years ago. And then just some florals and a candle at the back that I have had. The florals, I get most of my florals from Michael's. On the second shelf, uh, the white star is again from that barnyard cat store. This little, what's it called? Um, oh, I forget. But this little wood bowl with the um, with the pounder. Oh my gosh, I can't think what it's called. But that is just something I've had for years. I don't even know where I got it. Again, the florals are from Michael's. And this little uh, beaded uh, garland, I don't remember where I got it from. I can't remember, sorry. <laughs> and then that little bird cage that's in there, it has been many different colors, but I just got that at a local um, secondhand store. But yeah, I just kept the dining room very, very simple on the table and on the buffet. So the chair over there <laughs> is not around the table because the seat cushion is actually off of it because we were getting ready to get estimates on getting our chairs recovered. I'm dying to get them recovered. And then we went into lockdown and everything shut down. So we didn't bother putting the cushion back on the chair. Um, so it just sits there. So you're probably wondering why I am not gonna do it myself, but let me show you. Right in here, there's quite the indent. It goes around the chair and I'm just not that good at recovering. So that's gonna be a little bit technical for me. So we are looking to have them done professionally once we can find somebody who can do it. And here's a look at how the hallway table turned out. And I did move some stuff around again on this. It's kind of one of those things that when you start one area to redo it, it translates into a lot of different areas that need fixing. So let's take a closer look. So this painting we have had for many years and it has been in a number of areas in my home, but I really love it here in the hallway. I think it just makes such a statement here. I am loving it. And it's so funny when we have people come over that have known us for years, they comment on this picture and they say, oh my gosh, where did you get it? When did you get this? And we've just, we've had it for years. And just because it's here, it looks new and fresh. So then I decided to change up the florals that were on this top shelf of this table. And I am using this old um, pot that I got. And again, we got that as a wedding gift. So 34 years old and I love it. And it has been in many different spots in my home. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to put it center here, front and center so people can enjoy it. And then I just grabbed a bunch of florals that I already had in the house to just make this little arrangement in the whites and the greens and just something nice for summer. And I love it. I think it looks really, really good. On the next shelf, I kept it fairly, pretty well the same. I, I kept using my blue and white ginger jars, but I did get that new clear cloche from Ikea. And I just took some balls that I had in another vase in the house and put them in there. And I love the contrast of the light against the dark wood. 
the candlestick, the wood candlestick on the other side. I absolutely love this and I wanted to keep it on here because again, I love the light wood against this dark wood. So that's why the candle is not on top. It's just, it's too tall. So I put the candle beside it on a little pedestal that I made, some extra greenery I had. And then I found in my basement this little terracotta pot that I had and I put that there and it just seemed to finish off that little vignette and I love the way this looks. Now the bottom shelf is completely redone from earlier. Over here I took some cookbooks and just took off their covers and placed them on the on the shelf and this little wood ampersand that I had I think I got that from Home Sense in the fall I just placed that on top. Again it ties in with the wood candlestick on the middle shelf. It's the same type of wood so I thought that was a good tie-in and then of course I kept the pictures here. I love these pictures of my children and my husband but I do have to get one of my little granddaughter Kennedy to add there and yeah I kept that fairly simple and I love the way this table looks now with the basket and the florals it just it just wasn't working for me it just looked too cluttered so this i love it looks so much better so thank you so much for joining me today i hope that you enjoyed this video and it gave you some inspiration to look around your home for new ways to refresh a space i really enjoyed just well i have to tidy up my dining room i love the way it looks now just pared down the table the buffet table is just simple and i love the way that little side table turned out as well so it just feels so good to declutter it and get it cleaned up i'm also loving my hall table i love the changes that i made there i think it looks fresher especially for the summertime and i'm also loving this corner here it looks so nice when you walk in. This tree is probably one of my favorite, favorite home decor pieces right now. And I love the basket that it's in. And I'm really happy with the change back to the original wall art that was there. I'm, I, I want to look around for something else. I would love, love, love to do a basket wall here. I think that would look stunning. Just three baskets is really all I'm looking for. But now that our stores are going to be opening up i am very excited to get out there and see what i can find but once again thank you so much for stopping by be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it share it with family and friends who you think might enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you join me each week as i share all things home and lifestyle related and until the next time I talk to you guys in my next video, I hope you have a great week. Bye. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep Cause I'm not tired I'm thinking about the days we used to shine When we were young